with Backer Avenue and today Sam and I are just having as much fun as we possibly can in Philadelphia. Here behind us we have kind of a landmark. Uh, this was a train station to, uh, opened before 1900 and it wasn't until 1990 that it was there was a proposed convention center and now on the bottom floor it's vendors of every size, shape and color. It's just an amazing place. So we're really looking forward. I haven't been here in a little while myself but I know there's great food. There's great things to see inside and we're glad that you're here with us to take to, to join us on our adventure. I'm hungry. Let's do this. We're in here and there is the smells are just like overwhelming already. It's just a, it's brilliant the smells going on. Uh, delis, produce, wine bottles. You got it. Fresh vegetables. And this isn't even the fast food street food things that we really came here to see. Um, so we've got produce. We've got some prepared fresh vegetables. Beautiful. And we just don't have smell around. Otherwise, it would be perfect. Full meat case. Coming down and around. By George. This is a pizza place that we heard about. Uh, we got... It looks like some nice, really good Italian food as well. Beautiful Italian vegetable fare, stuffed peppers. Hoagies, Italian hoagies. Not a primo, but it looks like the same primo rolls on there. And finally, a walk around to the, um, to the pizza. Now that's an American Philly, New York slice. Getting hungry? Yeah. <laughs> How's that looking? Oh, it's amazing. I don't know if I'm in for pizza today, but we're going to find something good. Okay. Any ideas? What do you want? No, we got to keep walking. Okay. So I know that what's another famous one here is called what? Denix, right? That's a, that's pork. You had pork the other day. Is that something you're interested in? I don't know. Maybe we can split one or something. Okay. Coming around and we've got, oh, Termini Brothers. This is a famous little pastry place that my dad used to go to, the whole family. A lot of really, really good Italian pastries, some things, uh, Sfriadel, it's like Sfigliadella in, uh, is the way it's spelled, and I don't see them here right now, but we're going to try and find some Sfriadels. Okay, here's one that we were looking for. We've got Denix, pork and roast beef, uh, roast pork and beef. This is a well-known, this is kind of a like um, a must-go place when you're, uh, when, when some people are talking about roast pork. I know we did that with Pat's the other day, but um, this is a, I've always heard a go-to must-have spot. Uh, Johnny's Fish Market. Man, just too good. Hard to even decide what might be best. Any ideas yet? We haven't even really made it like halfway through this place. <laughs> the original turkey. I think you can find just about anything that you want here. This is, look at this. That, that almost looks like a Capriati's. Oh, it is? That's the gobbler right That's, there. Yeah. Hunger Burger. Of course, it would not be a Philadelphia institution if you couldn't find a cheesesteak here someplace. That is just piles and piles of what looks like really, really fresh, fresh fish from the sea. This is the world famous Byler's. We have the bakery just behind us and this is the donut spot. I think the bakery's actually closed on Mondays, but we're lucky we came on a Tuesday so we can grab awesome pies and wonderful bread too if we want. This is the same company on both sides. Here we are at the 
famous uh, Tommy Denick. Are you closed? Oh my god. We waited like about five minutes too long. Well, not today. That was the Reuben. That was the Reuben. Oh, the Reuben. Okay, the Reuben. That sounds good. It looked beautiful without all that chopped up corned beef in there. Okay, so like if at first you did not concede, uh, you have a plan B in order. See, we were seriously, we've been doing pork. I, I mean, that's a big thing. You can only eat so much pork, so we're going to corned beef. And this one I saw, and I really wanted to give a little review on it because it looks brilliant. So we'll meet you at the E. And this is... Herschel's East Side. A little bit of New York East Side in the Reading Terminal in the middle of Philadelphia. I know this is like only six wings, but that it felt like I was picking up a, a, a fully roasted chicken, basically. And what do we have in here? This is like their classic, right? Yeah, we mix them together. We've got a, three original rotisserie and three of the smoked wings. And I, the, the smoked are definitely the darker the, ones. The yeah, darker ones there. Got some coleslaw to go with this. Uh, no. It smells like coleslaw. We have to wait and see. And of course, well, let's work on this. Let's work on the uh, chicken. Yes. Yeah, why don't you try a chicken wing? All right. Uh, I'm not usually like smoked in general. Beautiful. Hot. I, saw, I think we saw a picture, it was like that heat flame. Um, it's, it's, it's solid, it's juicy, it's tender. They've got really good sized wings, they're really, really delicious. Um, I'm a wing lover, I make these all the time myself, um, but not like this. And I think this is one of the better known places here. Yeah, Diener's is one of the most famous spots at Reading Terminal. And I, we just thought it was worth a shot, and I know it was just chicken wings, but not just chicken wings. These are really, really delicious. That's the other half, and you get the drumette, and it's a really, I mean, that's a, check out the size of that. It's a really, really nice size piece of chicken. This is the drumette, smoked. Okay, switching to the smoke. I have a feeling you're going to like these smoked wings. I changed my mind about smoke. <laughs> I had a feeling. There's some, they've got some extra beautiful, you can see on my finger. I don't know what it is. It's got a little, got like cayenne in it, a little spice. Delicious though. One more, and then we could, uh, then we'll switch. That was such a good choice. I like chicken wings, but I'm glad. I had to, t I mean, I know how famous, we would have gone to the Knicks also, but we got here a little bit late today. Um, Pops had to do a, a few English courses. Uh, so, working vacation. A was work, working vacation. So we got here a little bit late to do the next, but that's okay, because we ended up over at, at Herschel's East Side. And we're gonna and we, come back with that sandwich in a minute. Yeah. So I definitely wore the right hat. We got the Reading Phillies hat with the train and everything. Perfect hat for Reading Terminal. I'm gonna go in for the smoke wings first, I think. You're not gonna be sorry about that. <laughs> Good choice. I don't think you got too much of the coating no, on that on that one, but succulent, tender. Mm. And wait till you taste that skin. Mm. You need napkins for these. I think we got some grade A chicken right there. These are the best chicken wings I've ever had in my life. Better than Hooters? Yeah. <laughs>
done, I think I'm really happy about having this plan B, like having been kind of dumped on our laps. Like, we were yeah, we go. were going to go to the Knicks because uh, it is it's really the most famous spot in Reading Terminal, but they closed it for they're more of a lunch place. We kind of explained already, but Herschel's East Side is excellent. So I don't know if we can get a picture of that. Absolutely. Look at this. I think we got a shot of them chopping this up, this corned beef. That does. 100% totally melts in your mouth. Oh my god. That looks incredible. Just the beef that I had is out, totally outrageous. The coleslaw, the Russian dressing in there. Um, I thought it was sauerkraut. Isn't it sauerkraut? Yeah, Swiss sauerkraut. Swiss sauerkraut and the Russian dressing. I'm sorry, it's too good. I'm in like food heaven. Well, we just had coleslaw at Diners, so. Yeah. No, this is good. I mean, the ratio, this this thing is packed. This thing is falling I, apart. I mean, I think it was like a $12 sandwich, but every bit that worth it. Uh, I mean, it's a New York sandwich. This is a New York deli corned beef sandwich. Oh, here. It literally just melts in your mouth. Oh, these beautiful, wonderful punk. You saw the chop. You just have to swallow. You don't even have to chew it. It's so soft and delicious. Thank you, Abbas, by help. <laughs> okay, so these look so good. These whoopee cakes, and uh, they were right behind me. And yeah. Said, flying, get a picture of that. flying monkey is one of the other most famous spots here. And my dad is a big fan of Red Velvet, so exactly. he had to go. Because we want to go, we want to get the donuts on yeah, the way Yeah, we want to go to Byler's on the way out, but uh, we couldn't resist these Red Velvet whoopee cakes. I'm not sure how to, I know how to eat a whoopee cake. Smash it down and get it squished in. <laughs> whoopee. It's like a massive macaron, you know? Different. This is really cake here. Probably like a devil dog. Kind of yeah, thing, yeah. Like you were saying. Yeah, my grandmother would make chocolate ones, the devil dogs, but a little yeah. bit smaller. <laughs> these are these are really really yummy. Anything on this on the top? Right okay. Here. Okay. So uh, several. This is the top top shelf. Yeah. Recommendation. Okay. Can I get one of the maple bacon's, please? Absolutely.